We want to turn now to NBC's Ali Rafa. She is at the White House now. And Ali, we understand that the U.S. got a heads up and advance here. What more are we learning overnight? Peter, good morning. President Biden is at his home in Delaware for the weekend. Both he and Vice President Harris are continuing to receive updates on Israel's retaliatory operation that a senior administration official says the U.S. was notified of beforehand but did not participate in. The official calling Israel's response targeted and proportional to Iran's attack earlier this month, adding the president and his national security team had encouraged Israeli officials to avoid targets that would harm civilians and escalate tensions. That senior administration official saying this should be the end of the back and forth between the two countries. Now warning Iran that the U.S. is fully prepared to once again help Israel defend itself from further attacks. The latest strikes began shortly after Secretary of State Antony Blinken wrapped up his 11th trip to the Middle East since the Israel-Hamas war began. The region once again in uncharted territory as peace talks are slated to resume tomorrow in Qatar, just nine days out from an election that could shape the future of the war-torn region. Peter. Ali Rafa with the very latest from the White House. Ali, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.